learn how to play song number 50, Bill Grogan's Goat. In this song, we're gonna review three things that we've learned. First, if you look at the very beginning of the song, in the time signature, it says that the song is in 4-4, four, four, and that means that we're gonna be playing four beats per measure. But if you look at the very first measure, there's only three beats in that measure. Now look at the second line of the song, in the very last measure. There's only one beat in that measure, which means we borrowed three beats from that last measure, and we tacked it onto the very beginning of the song, and that became the pickup into the first measure of the song. So in this song, we have a three note pickup. Another thing I need you to notice is that in the beginning of the line, in the key signature, most of the songs we've played up to now have had two flats in the key signature, a B flat and an E flat. If you notice in this song, there's only one flat and it's on the B line, which means that all your Bs in the song are B flat as usual, but there is no E flat, which means all your E's are gonna be E naturals. And if we remember from a previous lesson, so what I start with is everything open except for the whisper key. You're going to place the first finger down on the first tone hole. That's E. So there's no such thing as an E flat in this song. All your E's are going to be E twos instead of E threes. The last thing that we have to remember in this song are our ties. If you look at the second, if, if you look at the first full measure, you have a whole note which is four counts long, tied to a quarter note which is one count long. So you put that together, all of our ties are going to be a total of five counts long. Let's start at the very beginning we'll walk through the song. We start with C, D, A, C for five counts. Let's try it. One, two, three, four, one. Then we have F, G, F, D for five counts. Ready? And cry. line that's C. It looks like it's tied to another note but there's no note there. What they did was they ran out of room to put another measure there. So if you look at the very next line, the first note, it's also tied to a note but you don't see the other note. So what they did was they carried the tie from the first line over to the second line. So it's still that four count on the first line plus the one count on the second line. So it's going to be a five count C as well. So that last part again is going to be D, D, A, C for five counts. Let's try that. Ready? And play. Now we're on the second line. We're starting on the second note because the first note we played from the previous, um, it was part of the previous tie. So we have C, D, A, C for five counts. One, two, three, four, one. Then we have F, G, F, D for five counts. Ready? And play. Then we have F, F, D, E natural, E two for five counts. Ready? And play. No, four notes are C, D, E2, E natural, F for five counts. Ready? And play. Great. Let's go back to the very beginning of the song. We're going to walk through this one more time. From the beginning, we have C, D, A, C for five counts. One, two, three, four, one. F, G, F, D for five counts. Ready? And play. F, F, D, E natural for five counts. Ready? And play. Ready? And right. We're on the 
next line, the second note we have. C, D, A, C for five counts. Ready? And play. <laughs> to the beginning let's play all the way through without stopping if you notice the song does say allegro which means we're playing it in a medium faster tempo it also says that it's f for forte so we are going to play it a little stronger a little louder i'm going to count one two three four one before we begin here we go one two three four one <laughs> Great job. I can't wait to hear your recordings. 